explores deep. Yeah. Well, I made a few changes to the head, so let's go check it out. Well, what the heck? You again, huh? Improvements to the head, huh? Very funny. You haven't made any improvements to me since... I can't remember any improvements to me since I got my hair cut. Well, to replace that shower head, I got this Oxygenetics shower head. And it's made specifically for RVs. So, I'm going to go ahead and stick this in there. I got it to match the hardware that I placed inside the Explorer, which is a brushed nickel. Well, there it is out of the packaging. That should beat the white or the yellowing white plastic stuff. And it should be much more efficient. So let me get this installed. Well, the old shower wand is pretty easy to take off. I just unscrewed it from the diverter on the sink and it's off. And there's the new one. And this uh, kind of fake metallic hose, it's got some kind of foil inside the plastic. It's a real nice touch. All that's really required to take the toilet seat off is removing these little pins right here on either side with a pair of needle nose pliers and it comes right off. For the toilet seat, I just take a little bit of this green scotch bright. I rough it up a little bit. It makes little micro scratches in it and it's going to help the plastic paint hold a little bit better. So let me get some butcher paper so I can lay this down and paint it. If I can find a place out there that isn't windy because it's kind of breezy today. I'm going to be painting this toilet seat with Krylon Fusion for plastic. It's supposed to stick really well. So. Maybe this could be like a before and after. You can see it's kind of yellowed compared to the lid. So hopefully it'll be nice and shiny and new looking when I'm done. I decided to go ahead and paint the little ring that holds the hose for the shower since that was kind of yellowing too. I was really pleased with the way that this turned out. The brushed nickel appearance of the shower head really makes the bathroom look much more modern than the old plastic one. Here's the before, you could see it was yellowed, and of course afterward with a nice stainless steel look. Also the toilet seat was kind of the same yellow. It wasn't very attractive. It doesn't look good in a bathroom to have that yellow toilet seat in this before shot. And so with just a little bit of paint and some careful prep work, you can make it look new again. And the best thing about painting it is that you don't have to worry about it getting yellow again, like if you use some type of solution to get the yellowing out of the plastic. So this now matches the bright white new vent that I installed as well as the LED lighting. This was an enjoyable and easy project. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, you can get future notifications. Take it easy, people. Here, so you say I never make any improvements to you. Here, how's this? I made these out of uh, some 3D glasses. And I must say, you look very, very studious. Well, I guess that'll do.